Hello everyone, it's Laura and thank you for tuning in today. I have the most amazing prophecy that I want to share with you all. It's new to me, maybe you've heard of it before, but look it up if you can. Rabbi Judah Ben Samuel. I heard this in the same week from two of my favorite, I mean top 10 prophetic pastors that are world renowned. It was just so amazing. It really captivated my attention after the first one, but then when the second one said the exact same thing, it was noted down in my brain as very worthy to pass on. So take just a couple minutes and listen to what this guy had to say. In 1217, right before Rabbi Judah ben Samuel died, he said he had a vision. The prophet Elijah appeared to him and outlined the future in Jubilees. Now, it's very important to know that a Jubilee is a 50-year cycle. All right, hang on to that thought. Elijah told Rabbi Judah ben Samuel that after six Jubilees that the Turks would take Jerusalem. Do the math. 300 years, 1217 plus 300 is 1517. It happened. Check it out. Then he said, eight more jubilees, which would be 400 years, that the British would take Jerusalem and set the Jews free. It happened. 1917. Look it up. Then he said that Jerusalem would be a wasteland, a desert land. And look that one up too, because that is true. And at the end of that, that would be one jubilee, in 1967, he said the Jews would take back Jerusalem. And we all know in 1967 was the Six-Day War, and that was exactly what happened. They reclaimed Jerusalem. He said after that, there would be one more final jubilee, and at the end of it, a peace contract would be signed with Jerusalem. And anybody that knows anything about Bible prophecy knows that when the seven-year peace treaty is signed, that the tribulation begins. Well, if you've done the math already, you'll know that 1967 plus one more jubilee of 50 years is 2017. That man was correct every single time. Will he be correct this time? I don't know. We'll see. Now, don't go out there saying that Laura Greathouse said the rapture is going to happen in 2017. I didn't say that. I actually believe the rapture could happen way before then. <laughs> but I don't know. I am the least of these. I am a nothing. Um, does it bother me to say that? I am. I'm just a kindergartner at this prophecy study, but I'm learning more every day. And what continuously gets my attention is just the, the concert of all these things, all of these converging, all of these things just wrapping up right in front of our eyes at the same time. So that's what gets my attention really fast is, is you've got St. Malachi and, and his prophecies and predictions and so many of them have come true. It's just absolutely amazing. Rabbi Kaduri is a good one to look up. Uh, the 2017 uh, constellation that John speaks about in Revelations 12, it is absolutely mind-boggling. That is due to come per NASA September the 23rd of 2017. Why is it all of these things are happening now? right here in front of our faces. And this is just one little thing that I have time to share with you. But hang on to the next time because there's so much more that I would like to bring to you that would just be absolutely a, oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Oh wow, this is so incredible. So anyhow, that's what Keeping Watch is about, is to help you, along with myself, to keep watch for all of these signs, because Jesus said, when we see these things begin to take place, look up, because our redemption draweth near. Have a good day.